Welcome to your weekday cup of the word. We're in Revelation chapter 19. As chapter 18 was a lament by those who love Rome, chapter 19 is a cry of victory for those who love the Lamb. There is a, a great feast as the conquering Christ comes in and all of his people come and worship him. And the, the Son is glorified as not just the one who died for us, but as the King of kings and Lord of lords, and all are invited to see him have victory over the beast, the great beast Rome, and the false prophet who had everybody worship Rome. And we see that in the end, once again, the Son who is in heaven will always be victorious over those on earth who fight against him. This message is constant. You're probably at this point seeing that repetition throughout Revelation is really just one point and it's driven home over and over and over again that any nation that thinks it is stronger than God's kingdom is wrong. Because if Rome, the most powerful nation the world had ever seen, fought against the church at its infancy, at its youngest and weakest stage by man-made ideas and lost, no nation will stand. The king is there with the sword on his thigh, and he says, I will be victorious. Rome is seized, and the battle is over. That's your daily cup, and we'll see you tomorrow.